Welcome everybody to Friday Night Smackdown, I hope you're all having a good day, so let's check out what is going on in the Smackdown Zone here tonight on Smackdown. And to kick off the show, a match that was announced last week, Kevin Owens taking on Cesaro. So let's head back down to the ringside area to catch this match taking place. And now, making his way to the ring from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens! So this match being challenged last week, Cesaro. Cesaro was challenged by Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens laid down the challenge and if this is why we're having this match tonight. Kevin Owens said that the spotlight should be on new stars like him, newer people in the US title division. But Cesaro, obviously a former competitor for the United States title, now he's not in contention after losing to Adam Cole. And, and Kevin Owens is still upset that he has not been considered for contention for the United States title. So he wants to prove himself tonight against the Swiss Cyborg. Speaking of the Swiss Cyborg making his way to the ring from Luzern, Switzerland, Cesaro! So the Swiss Superman and the Swiss Cyborg Cesaro makes his way down to the ring. Cesaro has a big task ahead of him. As if he defeats Kevin Owens, he will obviously be put back up in title contention to the United States title. But if Kevin Owens can win, he will pop him up the contention ladder to the United States Championship. As Cesaro has had two attempts to win the title, failing both times, being defeated by the leader of the Undisputed Era, Aaron Cole, both times. But Cesaro looks to win here tonight, and if he can, it will be a great victory for himself and for the fans to watch as Cesaro makes his way down to the ring. Cesaro, the Swiss Cyborg Superman, very talented in the ring. Both these men quite talented in the ring as this match is about to get underway here tonight as both men make their way down to the ring. So this match is getting underway here, calling up a tie by the two men. These two men lock up and now Cesaro getting the power uppercut into the corner. Now Cesaro flinging off the ropes and now uppercut. Huge uppercut and now oh, Kevin Owens with the loot dash press just punching to Cesaro and now getting his leg, hitting it into the ring post. And now Kevin Owens I think is heading up high. Here we go, Fox Flash! Fox Flash from the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens looking to take out the Swiss Superman in life with that huge frog splash to him. That huge frog splash from Owens. Now Owens telling him to get up. Owens now I think he's going to go for a stunner. Owens going for the stunner here. Kicking the leg but gets caught. And now Cesaro is going to send him swinging. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 10 swings around from the Swiss Superman and now he locks in the sharpshooter, the sharpshooter from the Swiss Superman Cesaro taking out the prize fighter Owens, will Owens tap to the sharpshooter tonight, does Owens have the fight left in him to keep in this position, does Owens know how to get out of this, Kevin Owens in the position, now Kevin Owens kicks back the legs, Kicking back the legs, Cesaro landing head first onto the ring mat. Owens, I think Owens now knows that he has an opening here. Kevin Owens sent on the sent on to the Swiss Superman, taking him out tonight. Kevin Owens back in the fight. Stun Owens, stun Owens, leaving Cesaro stunned at the moment. And now Kevin Owens looking to win here tonight. Can Kevin Owens do it? Will Kevin Owens do it? Kevin Owens going for super kick. Cesaro now picks him up. Oh my god, here we go. Neutralizer. One, two, only a two count received from the neutralizer to Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is now taken out by the Swiss Superman Cesaro in the middle of the ring. The Swiss Superman takes out Kevin Owens. And now Cesaro going for an uppercut. Dodge. Kevin Owens propping him up. Pop up power bomb from Kevin Owens. 
Kevin Owens connecting with a pop-up powerbomb. And now I think he's looking for the finish. Kevin Owens looking for the stunner. Cesaro makes his way back up to his feet. And now Kevin Owens, huge stunner. One, two, three. And it's all over. Kevin Owens is your winner tonight. Kevin Owens wins this fight tonight. Putting himself up the card. Putting himself up the mid-card United States title division. Kevin Owens getting a huge victory over the Swiss Superman Cesaro. None of these men should be upset about their performance tonight. Both men put their bodies on the line in the middle of the ring. But Kevin Owens comes out on top as the winner tonight. Kevin Owens defeating the Swiss Superman Cesaro in the middle of the ring here tonight on SmackDown. What an amazing match we just saw. So let's see what's coming up next. Please welcome my guest at this moment, the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller, Chris. Jericho! So Jericho, later on tonight in the six-man tag match, you will be taking on Adam Cole. Have you got anything to say about Cole? Yeah, I actually do in fact. Cole, you think that you're gonna beat me at the Avengers pay-per-view? You, you think you're gonna beat me tonight in fact? Well, I want you to think that. Cause it's gonna be so funny when you're knocked out by this Judas effect. At the Avengers pay-per-view and Chris Jericho? He's standing tall as your new United States Champion. So Adam Cole, keep thinking you're gonna win, because you're not. As the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller, the Demo God, Chris Jericho, always prevails. And learn your lesson, kid. Stay in line, boy. Thank you for your time, Chris. We'll see what's going on at the ringside area. And so coming up now is a singles match between Adam Hangman Page and Shinsuke Nakamura. So let's head down to the ringside area to catch this match taking place. And now, making his way to the ring, the cowboy, Adam Hangman Page! So Adam Hangman Page makes his way down to the ring for a second fight in the company. Second fight on episodes, in fact. Adam Hangman Page debuting back in November, obviously not having that good of a start, only competing in a few matches, but Adam Hangman Page looking to get way back up the card, looking to perform here tonight, looking to perform and show the GM why he should be used more, used utilized more in the company, but the Hangman Adam Page looking to take on the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura here tonight. In the middle of the ring, the Hangman makes his way down to the ring, Hangman obviously over with the crowd, waving to him, showing off here tonight, but will it all count to something when he takes on Shinsuke Nakamura? And speaking of Shinsuke Nakamura making his way to the ring, is the artist formerly known as Shinsuke Nakamura! So Shinsuke Nakamura making his way down to the ring, Nakamura obviously knowing that if he wins this match, it could definitely put him back up the card, Nakamura has had a decent run in the company so far, getting a few victories, but also having a few losses, a 50-50 start to the Shinsuke Nakamura's career in this company, but as Shinsuke Nakamura makes his way to the ring, he knows he has a challenge ahead of him, but Nakamura looking to defeat Adam Hangman Page tonight, and see if he can win his spot in the company, if he can put himself up the card by defeating Adam Hangman Page here tonight. The artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura, very tough, very strong style, style in the ring. That strong style that he possesses is very useful for this match. As these two men lock up, here we go, collar and elbow tied by the two men. These two men tying up and now pushing him into the ropes. Nakamura trying to play mind games now with the Cowboy, playing mind games with Adam Hangman Page. Is Shinsuke Nakamura, Shinsuke Nakamura, he's in the mind games here tonight, the mind games, oh, now getting him in a suplex position, dodging that clothesline, now Adam Hangman Page goes for the ropes, huge headbutt, and now a super kick from the Hangman, Adam Page just hitting a wild super kick to the head of the artist formerly known as Shinsuke Nakamura, now Hangman toiling to the crowd, Hangman knows that if he can get the crowd on his side, that he could get more opportunities and more stuff in the company. Just get Nakamura with a huge Pele kick. That Pele kick by Nakamura. Nakamura with the speed and skills and that strong style style. Now Nakamura is turning to the crowd as well. This live audience torn between who they are supporting here tonight. As Hangman Adam Page is getting up to his feet. Shinsuke Nakamura looking to hit a kick. Nakamura's kick dodge. Now Adam Hangman Page going to drop him on his neck. No, don't do this. Huge back power driver by Adam Hangman Page to take out the artist formerly known as Shinsuke Nakamura. And I think Adam Page is looking for the finish. 
I think he's looking to end this match. Adam Hangman Page gets himself up on that. He's going for a buckshot Larry Raw. End of days. End of days from Baron Corbin. What a huge counter to the buckshot lariat by Adam Hangman Page. But it got countered and caught out by Baron Corbin. Now Baron Corbin is setting him up in position. This match is over. DQ win for Adam Hangman Page. But Shinsuke Nakamura. Here we go. Kinshasa. Huge keen shots out to the head of Paige. Adam Hangman Paige is taken out tonight. This match is going so well until these two men have to turn it on its side. As Adam Hangman Paige is being laid out and defeated tonight by Baron Corbin. And the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke and Corbin forming an alliance here in this company. But what a return for Baron Corbin tonight on SmackDown. Please welcome my guest at this moment, Ray Phoenix. Pentagon Jr., the Lucha Bros. So you two men had a tag team match last week defeating Heavy Machinery. Do you have any message that you want to send to the SmackDown Tag Team Locker? It's as simple as this, amigo. We have zero fear. So if you think you can beat men with zero fear, es muy entiendo. Es muy para palabra. And then Lucha Libre! Zero. Miero. Thanks for your time, guys. We'll be heading back down to the ringside area to see what's going on. Fig Tees UK, your one-stop shop for all your professional wrestling figure t-shirt needs. And if you head over to Fig Tees UK and use code GST15, you will be saving 15% off orders over $4.99 at figtees.co.uk. Please welcome my guest at this moment, the Dominator, Bobby Lashley. So Lashley, you will be taking on Goldberg at the Vengeance pay-per-view. Do you have anything to say to him tonight? Yeah, I've got a quite a lot on my mind to say to him, but I'm going to keep this brief. Goldberg, you're a 54-year-old man, 50-whatever-year-old, I don't give two fucks. You ain't going to beat me. You're fucking delusional if you think you can. As when I lock in that hurt lock, and when your little old man eyes are shut closed real tight, you'll see who the titan is, as I will prevail. The Dominator always prevails. Thank you for your interview tonight, Bobby. We'll be heading back down to the ringside area to see what's going on. And so coming up now, Bill Goldberg will be taking on Sheldon Benjamin of the Hurt Business tonight on SmackDown. So let's check this match out at the ringside area. And now, making his way to the ring, representing the Hurt Business. The gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. So Benjamin is a big test tonight as he takes on the Titan Goldberg. But if Shelton Benjamin plays his cards right, he could win this match. Hey tonight, if you think about it, Shelton Benjamin has very uh, good background in uh, amateur wrestling and uh, teamed up with Brock Lesnar back in the past in the um, University of Minnesota. But we'll have to see if we can put the skills together here tonight to pick up a golden standard win. But Sheldon Benjamin of the Heart Business makes his way down to the ring to probably one of the biggest tasks that he's had to face in this company. Sheldon Benjamin obviously competing in last year's Bottom League Championship Tournament where he came up short against the Devil Carrion Cross. But well, could Sheldon Benjamin pick up the victory tonight and put himself up the card? We'll have to see. As now, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, the Titan, Goldberg. So Goldberg, last episode where we last saw Bill Goldberg was the time when he defeated MVP of the Hurt Business, but now looks to take on the gold standard, Sheldon Benjamin, here tonight, the other member of the Hurt Business, as, his, as he is taking on the Dominator, Bobby Lashley, at the Vengeance pay-per-view. But will Goldberg get the upper hand, maybe get the mind games in tonight, as if Bobby Lashley knows that two of his best friends, two of his tag team partners in the Hurt Business, have been defeated by this man, it may knock down Bobby Lashley's confidence going into this. 
but we'll have to see what happens tonight as this match gets underway here tonight in this contest in the middle of the ring. This match getting underway, huge spear by Goldberg, right at the gate, the Titan clobbering Shonen Benjamin with that huge spear. Goldberg now wants Benjamin to get up, I think he's looking for a second spear, expecting one of those huge daggers to the chest and waist area of Shonen Benjamin, and it goes to pay dirt! Pay dirt from the gold standard! The gold standard Shonen Benjamin getting the upper hand tonight, could he do it? Could he defeat the Titan Goldberg? The pay dirt! from Benjamin, can't believe this, pay dirt from Shonen Benjamin, and now Benjamin got him in the middle of the ring, one, two, and now three, the trifecta of suplexes, and I think Benjamin now setting up for a springboard move, has Goldberg set in the middle of the ring, Goldberg being rocked around by the gold stand, now Goldberg spear, spear through the middle air, from Goldberg, this man is unbelievable in the ring. The power that this man possesses is unmatched in this company. Goldberg just absolutely destroying Benjamin now. And now, oh, Goldberg really just taking the mick out of him. He's got him in the heart lock, taking the mick out of Bobby Lashley. And now Goldberg wins. Goldberg just defeats Sheldon Benjamin by locking him in the heart lock. The move used by the dominator, Bobby Lashley. Goldberg trying to play the mind games tonight as he picks up a huge victory. Benjamin on the outside also being defeated. And oh man, back in the ring. The Dominator Spear! Huge spear from the Dominator Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley just takes out Bill Goldberg tonight. The Dominator taking out the Titan. Bobby Lashley sending a message. Bobby Lashley showing that he is not scared of Goldberg. That he's not scared of the veteran in the ring. Bobby Lashley knows that he is younger, faster, and fresher. But will that garner him the win at Vengeance? We'll have to find out when it comes to that pay-per-view. And now, Cody and Dustin Rhodes are going to speak on their actions from Episode 7, live tonight on SmackDown. So let's see what these men have to say. Me and my brother Dustin have been treated like shit ever since coming to this company. So that's why we did it. That's why we took out the beast Brock Lesnar. Well, if he is a beach beast, but when we laid him out, he was looking more like a bitch in the middle of this ring. Our father is a veteran in this business, and you guys treated him like shit, putting him in polka dots, making him a little funny, funny fuzzball just for you to laugh at. But no, he's a serious fighter and a serious competitor, like how you should take me and Dustin so seriously as we are. Second generation superstars, third generation superstars, what the hell the fuck you want to call us? But we should be taken seriously tonight. And old man Lesnar with a huge German suplex to take out Dustin Rhodes. And now Cody Rhodes is oblivious to this. Cody Rhodes get a cool, huge German suplex. The beast Brock Lesnar getting some revenge. But he will be getting revenge as they're having a 2 on 1 handicap match at the fast lane pay per view. Brock Lesnar will be sure to get his hands on both men and teach them a huge lesson. As the beast Brock Lesnar standing tall tonight in the middle of this ring, the SmackDown World Heavyweight Champion, the beast Brock Lesnar. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you have made a big mistake calling me out. Unlike the last time we faced off, you got off scot-free. But at the Vengeance pay-per-view, oh man, you're gonna be dead, defeated, ended, left to decay by Callion. Cross. I will end you, Rocky. And if you don't think I will, just wait and see what happens to you as Avengers pay per view. Your time is nearing end, Dwayne. Tick tock. And coming up now is our main event of the evening six man tag team match between Chris, Jericho's team, and the Undisputed Era. So let's check this match out. And now making their way to the ring, the team of Orange Cassidy, Big E, and Chris Jericho. The so team Jericho tonight looking to take on the Undisputed Era, the debuting match for Orange Cassidy, and the in-ring return for Big E Langston. Big E 
here tonight looking to be sided by Ric Flair, his manager. Now Chris Jericho knows that if he wins this match, he will be getting a United States title shot. So these men have to work together and correlate. But here is freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy making his SmackDown debut and making his debut in the company. Orange Cassidy with his cool guy style. And now Big E, the big trunk of this team, the big truck, the big massive boulder that this team has and they could utilize here tonight. And now the demo god, Chris Jericho, in the middle of the ring. Jericho knows that if he wins tonight, he will be getting a United States title shot at Vengeance. Jericho knows how good this match could be if he wins and he gets the opportunity. But now, making their way to the ring, the United States champion, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era! So the Undisputed Era making their way down the ring. Adam Cole flanked by his two lackeys, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Here tonight, the United States Champion Adam Cole having a decent run in the company. Obviously holding that belt since the Money in the Bank pay per view is Adam Cole. Adam Cole looking to win here tonight. It will allow Adam Cole to have the night off at the Vengeance pay-per-view as he would not need to face the demo guard Chris Jericho but the Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish they will be having the opportunity at the SmackDown Tag Team titles at the Vengeance pay-per-view so this match could elevate their, the confidence of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish but Adam Cole posing with that title he won in an amazing match at Money in the Bank against Cesaro Adam Cole the current United States Champion as this match gets underway Kyle O'Reilly face to face with Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy showing that he's not scared. Orange Cassidy is not scared. Kick to the side, kick to the side. Now charging it up. Another kick from Cassidy. No effect to Kyle O'Reilly with those weak kicks from Orange Cassidy. And a huge shot to the chest. That huge chop clapping the chest of Orange Cassidy. Now Kyle O'Reilly showboating to the audience here. Kyle O'Reilly confident as this match begins. But oh man, Orange Cassidy with the kip up. Orange Cassidy is back onto his feet. Kyle O'Reilly looking to hit a clothesline. Huge Superman punch from Orange Cassidy. Roman Reigns, a man that Kyle O'Reilly has to face in the future at the Vengeance pay-per-view, does that move. So this could knock the confident, uh, confidence of Kyle O'Reilly. And now Orange Cassidy going for a move here, punching him, punching the glasses, and now the takedown. Hitting that forearm right into the knee of, back of the knee of Orange Cassidy. Now O'Reilly wants Cassidy to get up. Now O'Reilly with a huge kick to the side of the head. That hurts. That definitely hurts when you get a hook to the side of the head. Right in the side of the head of Orange Cassidy. And now Bobby Fish gets into this match. Bobby Fish making his way into this match. And now a huge forearm by Fish. No sweep. Just sweeping Cassidy off his feet. Now Bobby Fish looking to lock in the armbar. The armbar by Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish is wrenching on the arms of Cassidy. Cassidy is near enough to the ropes. Cassidy reaches the ropes. Orange Cassidy freshly reaching the ropes because he's freshly squeezed. Orange Cassidy. Now Bobby Fish wants him up. Bobby Fish wants him up. Cassidy looking to make his way back to the vertical base. Orange Cassidy dodging another Superman punch. Huge, freshly squeezed Superman punch by the Orange Cassidy. And now Big E, the big truck, being tagged in. Bobby Fish has nowhere to go. As now Big E with a huge clothesline to Fish. That huge clothesline from the Big E. Big E now, splash. Huge, big splash from Big E to take out Bobby Fish of the Undisputed Era. Now Ric Flair watching on as his associate is picking up Bobby Fish, just flinging him. In the middle of the ring, flings him back with that huge back body slam by the big man, Big E, to take out Bobby Fish tonight. Bobby Fish now down and out. And by the looks of things, Adam Cole and Carl O'Reilly watching on as their teammates are getting massacred in the ring. Now Big E going for a big ending. Bobby Fish pushes him into the ring post, pushing him into that turnbuckle, takes out Big E. Now I think Adam Cole is wanting in this match to tag into Cole. Adam Cole gets his way into this match. Big E is getting up to his feet. Here comes Adam Cole. Last shot. Last shot from the United States champion. Adam Cole takes him out with the last shot in the middle of the ring. The last shot by Cole. By God, this takes him out tonight. Big E has to be out. But does Big E have the fight left? And now, a huge Panama Sunrise. Panama Sunrise takes out the big man Big E tonight. In the middle of the ring, Colorado watching on. 
as now Adam Cole is in the middle of the ring, and so is Big E. Could this match be over here? Adam Cole goes for something. Big E catches him up. And oh man, if Big E's able to hit this, here we go. Big ending. The big ending to Adam Cole. And I think Big E has something in mind. I think Big E's going to make the tag to Chris Jericho to allow Jericho to defeat Adam Cole to knock down Cole's confidence. And here we go, tag to Jericho. Jericho, the demo god, the veteran of this match, now in this ring. Here we go, here comes Chris Jericho, huge super kick from Cole. Cole just blindsided Jericho with that huge super kick. Now tagging in the veteran of the Undisputed Era, the two veterans in this match, the two oldest men in this match now about to go ahead. Here we go, these two men going at it, Judas Effect! One, two, three, and it's all over. Team Jericho win with that huge Judas Effect from Chris Jericho to take out the old man, Bobby Fish. Adam Cole didn't know what he was thinking there. Adam Cole probably knocked his confidence down by this match. But Big E, Orange Cassidy, and Chris Jericho picking up a huge victory tonight. They should not be upset about their performance in the ring tonight. What a great performance from these three men. They should not be upset with their huge performance tonight.